The transport effort is a very important key figure for evaluating factory layouts. But how can I deal with it? The transport effort shows how well the areas of a factory are arranged in relation to each other. A low transport effort is the main logistical objective. To understand the topic, we have to ask two basic questions. The first question is, what does transportation effort actually mean? The second question is, how to visualize it? Take an AGV, for example. The AGV can carry two boxes per trip. Between area A and area B, 20 boxes must be transported. This results in 10 necessary transports. The distance between area A and area B is 20 meters. The effort on transport required is determined by the distance and number of transports. In this case this would be 10 transports multiplied by 20 meters, that means 200 meters in this example. Between area B and area C, 15 transports are necessary. The distance here is 35 meters. This results in a transport effort of 525 meters. How do we visualize this in the layout? For each transport we imagine of a connecting line between the areas along the route, in example in 1 mm thickness. With 10 transports this results in 10 mm thickness, with 15 transports 15 mm. The direction of transport is indicated by an arrowhead. The resulting arrow visualizes the flow of material and the associated effort. It shows the number of transports by its thickness as well as the transport direction and the transport length. Of course it is not practical to realize such work with simple drawing tools or even by hand. With a modern tool for factory planning, you should not have to do this either. There, the transport effort can be calculated from the flow arrows in the layout and used, for example, to optimize the layout. If we summarize the number of transports per route section, so-called Sankey representations are created in the layout. These provide valuable information on possible bottlenecks in the transport system. The recording and evaluation of transport efforts is of benefit far beyond the mere representation of material flows. It is indispensable for factory planning.